Hey everybody, Chris D here from PCAddicts.com. I've been running Ubuntu 10.04, the LTS full release, for about a day. And uh, um, I haven't had much time to fully play with it yet, but I have. I think I have everything installed that I wanted to install. I still got to configure some things and whatnot, but I'm very pleased with it so far. I did run the Beta 1 and Beta 2, or whatever they were calling it for quite a while and I was I was happy with that too but I had some flash player issues and um, in the beginning I had some Nvidia driver issues but I got those worked out it just took took a little work um, now with the this install everything went great perfect no problems at all I was I was very pleased with it probably the easiest Ubuntu installation I've ever had to deal with and that's running dual monitors um, microphone camera everything and uh, it went very smooth over here on the right I have a list of things that I had jotted down before they released it and uh, just kinda prep what I wanted to do and I think I have everything installed whether or not they're all it's everything's configured is a different story but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a, a rundown on what I like to do and, and the programs I I run and install and, and uh, try to set up. So we'll go down the list a little bit, and and I'll go down the list and kind of fill in the blanks as far as if I had any weird issues, which I can't remember having any issue weird issues with anything, but um, just things to look out for and whatnot. So. Okay, first install 10.04, 10 duh. Uh, change repos and now this one, this one was kind of goofy. Uh, the repositories. Now, I did have some problems, and I think it was just because it was D-Day and everybody and their mom was updating and downloading stuff. But and then I had power issues here at the house. But long story short, what I ended up doing is um, going to system administration, software sources, punch in your password and then I went to where did I go download from I went download from and then I clicked other and then I, I clicked select best server and it runs like 350 different tests I think it's just pinging all the servers and it selects the best one for you and after I did that all the updates and everything came down a lot faster so um, I recommend doing that and let's see hardware driver so the next thing I wanted to do was get Compiz Fusion working get all my both both my monitors working so you went system administration hardware drivers and um, this was pretty painless I, I have had a lot of questions on how do you set up dual monitors how do you get the NVIDIA drivers to work and the only thing I can suggest and there's probably different ways I'm sure uh, if you have different ways, please post them in the chat or in the uh, chat in the uh, in the comments. But um, well, as far as this goes, this this one I just selected the recommended and activated it and went fine, no problem. Now with the beta version, I had tons of problems with this, so everything seems to be working right now. So let's move on. Now what I wanted to show you was okay. After I did the hardware drivers, I backed up xorg.config, and that's the config file that that tells your system the setup for your monitors and everything. So, what I do, and this is just me, I open up a terminal, and I do sudo copy. Well, here I'll just go. I'll just cd to the directory first, so you can see what I'm talking about. X11 now ls. Now, what you see here is xorg.config file. Now that one, I wanted to make a copy, and I did. So I made a copy, and I named it uh, XOR config before the twin view setup. And to do that, you just go sudo, uh, what was it, uh, copy, and then you can do the full path, or if you're in the directory like I am now, you can just do XORG.config, and then just rename it to something you want, like uh, ha ha ha, okay? And then it'll copy it for you. And I, I I got in the habit of doing that over the years because I've had just some weird things happen, and it's always nice to be able to go back to something, at least something, some sort of starting point. So after you do that, 
then go to NVIDIA X server settings. Um, now this one, blah, 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 blah. this is where, this is the one I was talking about a few minutes ago, is people had some problems with this one. If you click X server display configuration, by default, this one was not um, enabled and it was smaller and it was grayed out. So you just click on it and you go to, what was it, configure? Yeah, configure, and then I select the twin view. And that's how that's what I like. And everything works great like this. Um, and uh, everything everything seems to work fine with twin view. So do that. Now the problem here is I, I've had a lot of people say, well, how the hell I, I, I do it and I try to save it and it's not saving the file. It's because you're not um, pseudo to, you're not logged in as, no, you're not the administrator to be able to change that file. Um, now, there, it was harder in the past, and I used to just go in here and show preview, highlight this whole thing, copy it, go into a terminal, and then um, sudo vi, and then get into the xorg.config, and then uh, just paste it in there, not in vi, but in sudo gedit, and uh, that would work. But now, it's pretty nice, you just hit save, and it'll say you can't save it because you need permissions, and then it'll, then it'll pop up the little... Um, dialog box for you to type your password in. So that went pretty painless too. So I was very happy with that. Uh, da, da, da. Then, after I did that, I restarted the computer and then I backed up the xorg.config again because it was at the point where everything was working. So, after that, I went into appearance and set up the visual effects to extra. This will give you all the nice transparency stuff like you see with the terminal. You can see how it's transparent. So we're going to go system, preferences, appearance, and then visual effects. Oh, and mine, mine dropped down to normal. I'm not sure why, but uh, I will work on that one later. But I selected extra, and everything was nice and ready to go. Then comes your comp is conf uh, config settings manager. Okay, um, This one you have to install. And you can do that by going to System Administration, Synaptic pa Package Manager, okay, and then just type uh, comp is config settings, and there it is. You just install that, and then you can go ahead and set up all your comp is stuff here. And then, you know, there's a lot of configuration you can do there. Then I, I went to install Gnome Do, which has a docky, which is this down here. But when when I was searching for it, I couldn't find what well, what was it? I couldn't find GNOME Do, and I found Docky, and, and I like the configurations on this one compared to the other one. So I went ahead and just used this Docky, but then I still installed GNOME Do for this thing right here. It's like your auto search or whatever. You just press super space, and then you just type whatever you want, like uh, terminal or uh, Tomboy uh, notes. Etc. Oops. Ah. So, and then quick synergy so I can use my keyboard and mouse for my stream computer, which is up there about a Windows 7, and I can, you know, share the mouse keyboard between those two. Uh, I think I want to pause this video or stop it and then. There'll be a part two, because I'm not sure how long I'm going here. And I got a text message. I got to answer that. So I will be back.